So good day everyone. So my name is Mark Jensen Uluri and I will be reporting my Coursera outcome for OJT3. So it is my final report 3 for CM 198-3R. So maternity in result is 3% of word similarity and the similarity was found on Mapua University. So final, final course support 3, so report 1 titled Engineering Budget Management, that is focus on scheduling and budgeting, and report 2 is Introduction to Project Management with the use of ClickUp. ClickUp is a management application tool for project managing. So this is for OJT3 and it's reported by Ilurin Mark Blanson M and submitted to Dr. Dante Silva. So final report 1, Engineering, Project Management. So preliminaries, so course taken is about Engineering Project Management and the course description is the course program is under the Rice University Engineering Project Management that is specialized in scheduling and budgeting. So institution that offer the course is course program was offered by the Rice University through Coursera program under the RLEMC program. So for detailed description, so course content, the course content is all about engineering project management that deals with understanding the scope of the project, the required time to finish the project, and the cost of the entire project management. So for the learning objectives, so the learning objective is how to create work breaks down structure, understand how a grant chart works, identify different project management risks, able to scheduling using management tool and to give students a proper estimation skills in cost management so for characteristic of course delivery so the characteristics of how the course program was delivered is through online video lectures uh, program uh, assignment final exam and then a uh, reading materials so for assessment evaluation for week one the focus for week one is engineering project management for scope time and cost management so for video lecture about the general uh, topic and then the structure presentation, deduction of the, uh, the structure and then the reading materials so for week 2, project schedule management, so focus on scheduling, so create creation of schedule management through video lecture and the reading materials then appeal grade assignment through uh, creation of grant chart and WBS. So for week 3, project that project time management so it, it is a uh, uh, focus on project time management so maybe we can use the grant chart here that is based on work by structure and then after that quiz and then the pre-graded assignment about the project time management next is cost estimation for the project so after the work breakdown structure scheduling creation of grant chart next is cost estimation for each activity so it is performed through pre-graded assignment and then another reflection quiz and then a video lecture for estimation Next is a uh, earned value management. So earned value management is basically a performance evaluation project. So to video, video lectures and then quizzes and sample materials from the PMBOK guide. So week six is for the final exam, conclusion of the instructors and then uh, graded assignments. So this is the example of a video lectures. This example of pre-graded assignment which is based on scheduling and uh, project time management as this is the exams or quizzes for each uh, topic so for the course summary so for week one engineering project management this focus scope time and cost management of the project so for week one it is based on general topics so we you lecture about the general topic the application of topic and then the uh, evaluation for each evaluation of the grades for the course program week two is project schedule management so this creation of uh, project schedule management so this must focus on the uh, how to uh, properly schedule each work breakdown structure or activities in the project so work week three is about project time management so similar to week two but it is more in-depth and detailed uh, it is where the critical path method uh, duration slack time uh, delayed time 
Week 4 is cost estimation management in the project. So after the estimation of the uh, estimation, so cost estimation is basically the uh, result after the work breakdown structure and then the scheduling has made. So work cost estimation is important in the project. So for week 5, earned value management in project making. So week 5 is earned value management or performance output management. It is where you evaluate each performance of the project. So if it is, if it is making a project or if it is making a uh, low quality uh, procedure. So for week 6 is finals for the course. So it is important to evaluate each uh, student if indeed they really learn about the course outcome. So for student learning, so there are target ideas. So first target idea is to, how, uh, is to create a work breakdown structure that's based on project activity. So creation of work breakdown structure is the main point of this because without WBS, there is no estimation for time and then the cost of the project. So next is understanding and creating a grant chart. So grant chart is used for project scheduling. So it, it is used to determine the sequencing of the, each activity. So how long it takes to finish a one activity after engaging to another one so it is important to understand grant chart or other project scheduling management tool next is learn to identify project management risk so in this course outcome so student must able to identify management risk especially in our large project so here we, it is discussed thoroughly the process in engaging management risk Next is how to develop an estimation skill using cost management. So estimation skills is an necessary in project to understand the financial flow of the project process. Next is understanding the earned value management and it's important to project management. So earned value management is important in project management because it is where you measure the performance output of a project from start to finish. So it is important to at least understand how earned value management works. Next is understanding the role of stakeholders in project decision making. So stakeholders are very, very important in project management. So they are the uh, main influencer of the project. If it's if, if even it's a small uh, stakeholder, it can affect the entire project. Next is the application. So application to construction engineering and management field so first is of course the work breakdown structure for the construction management so work breakdown structure is necessary for construction project to determine the different activities that a construction work must finish to accomplish its project so it is important to understand work breakdown structure so next is identifying project management risk in the construction project so in a construction project there is always a risk so as a construction engineering and management uh, field or civil engineering we must know how to engage in this uh, management and how to develop a solution to lessen or at least uh, avoid the failure for the risk so next is creating a grant chart for construction project schedule and project time management so grant chart is a very good uh, schedule method critical path method is also a good scheduling management tool so but grant chart is it is important since it, it's a detailed form of scheduling method it uh, shows you the duration the sequencing of the project and then the deadline for the construction project next is of course cost estimation and budget management in the construction project so in construction it is important to monitor the uh, the monetary budget the resources and the financial flow of the project so with the proper monitoring of the financial flow so there will be a loss in cost in the construction so next is evaluation evaluating construction project work using learn value management so it is always important to check the quality check the performance check the final output of a construction project before it delivered to the uh, stakeholders or the clients next is project stakeholders in construction so the project stakeholders in construction is necessary and uh, because they are the one who funded the project monitor the project uh, create the project so it is important to address the stakeholders so for my documentation so this is this, here is my proof of my accomplishment in the Coursera outcome so the next topic is the 
introduction to project management with the use of ClickUp management tool. So for course take it, it is introduction to project management with ClickUp. So for course description, the course program family focus of course in prime project management that deals with the creation of proper document and engaging project process. So the institution that offer the course is the course program under the course program network, project network. So for course detailed course description, the learning objective, the students of the course topic for the program is expected to learn about fundamentals to the, of the project management and management application tool that help project management more organized and effective. So it's, it's simply understand the project management, how to create planning project management, use ClickUp or other uh, management tool, and then scheduling of different documents for project. So the characteristic of the course delivery is similar to other course program. It was delivered through online platforms with online quizzes, online assignments, and then peer graded activities. For assessment and evaluation, so for the learning goals, so create a ClickUp account or a management tool account. So understanding the layout and organization of for the ClickUp, edit and explore the different lists and tasks. So it was done through video lectures sample materials, virtual training, and then online guidance for our instructors and the course program. They use cloud, cloud workspace. So creating a new space, a folder and task, formulating new reminders, notes, and documents, understanding communication, and of course, final course exam and final course practical. So final course exam is simply concept exam, where uh, definition, role false, and then multiple choice, and then final course practical exam is uh, somewhat a practical exam which deals with creation of documents, plan, and management. So here are examples of the reading course materials. So here is the cloud space. So the left, the left side is my cloud space. The right side is the cloud space of my instructor. So we are both engaging in you know, virtual training. So this is graded quiz. Graded quiz. Uh, to test my project understanding so for the course summary so creating student their own click up account or the management account so it's basically how to enroll in how to uh, download the management tool how to uh, integrate it in your management system so task 2 is understanding the main layout and the organization process of the click up so it is basically a tutorial on how to use the ClickUp and any management tool before uh, engaging in a more detailed documentary of the project management. So task 3 is orientation about editing for different tasks, listen tasks. So here, uh, the main focus here is how to use the management application tool in order to uh, sequence your documents, organize your plan, and then manage the uh, portfolios in the project. Next is task 4, create a new space folder and task program management and multiple projects. So here, when you are engaging in a program management where it consists of multiple projects, so here you can separate different projects with same task and different program in another portfolio. So here, uh, it is simply a more complex form of engaging project management because it deals with multiple projects. Task 5 is formulating basic new reminder notes and project documents. So here creation of document management plan and that is uh, for example of management plan is the project uh, the stakeholder uh, scope management plan and then the uh, cost management plan. So here where you create the management plan. Task 6 is understanding the project communication so here it is important to engage in constant communication within the stakeholders the management team and the, the technical team so uh, it is about the communication so for final course concept exam and project management so here uh, the all the concept will be asked and then there is a final assessment where you create your own project management plan based on a case study so next is student student learning so the key target ideas here is the understanding the project management in the project success so of course effective management can be result in project success so that is the uh, main target idea here 
so understanding the project management next is how to create proper planning in a project so uh, as a project management course so you, you must uh, knowledgeable how to create a project management plan in order to incorporate some engineering uh, principles in the management Next is the usage of the management tool application of ClickUp for project management and document organizer. So here uh, the student will be guided how to use management tools in order to uh, organize documents and manage projects. So basically uh, it is a uh, skill that the student will learn in order to enhance their skills in managing a project. So scheduling of the different document for project management. So of course scheduling for different project management is important since it, uh, time is very critical in project management so without proper scheduling there will be uh, loss in resources and financial of the project next is preparing scope management plan for project works process so projects uh, so scope management plan is important in a project so without the scope management plan there is there will be no uh, concrete uh, idea for the process of the project so it's important to at least uh, estimate some scope management plan before engaging in uh, project ex execution next is understanding the flow of project management for project management tool application so before engaging in management tool application you must understand how the at least how the uh, project management will flow so understanding how it will start and how it end is a necessary skills to uh, absorb in dealing with management tool application next is understanding the work planning and quality performance evaluation so in a project it, it is important to always evaluate performance and final output of the project application to construction engineering and management field so first is management application tool for managing construction project so now, nowadays we use management application tool to lessen the work effort in organizing projects so it is a good ap uh, application of management tool in the construction project so organizing construction document contracts and agreements so as a construction engineering and management professional we are expected to organize construction contracts and documents and agreement that does that is made through our clients and stakeholders so managing construction project use the project management body knowledge guide or PMBOK guide so here uh, the PMBOK guide can be used in construction management construction industry to effectively manage construction work and prevent uh, some uh, uh, loss of uh, quality in the construction industry so evaluation of quality performance of the construction process so here uh, quality performance is always always uh, evaluated in construction that's why we have a quality control and quality assurance engineer to assess if the construction pass is really following the standard of the uh, company or organization so creation of management plan for construction projects so of course management plan is very important in construction project so it is where the uh, higher ups of the management uh, communicate to the technical team or the, the lower branch of the construction site so project circling for the duration of construction project so in, in a construction project there are, the main contributor here is the cost scope and then the time so it, it is important to uh, understand the project scheduling for the construction project so it is here is my uh, certification for the course program so that's all and thank you.